TV KPM. Dr. Strauss says that I should write down what I think I remember and everything that happens to me from now on. But I, I don't know. I don't know why. But he says it's important so they can see whether they can use me. I hope they use me because Miss Kenyon says that I can be smart. Of course, I want to be smart. Your mind is tossing on the ocean. There, wear your argosies with portly sails, like seniors and rich burghers on the flood, or as it were, the peasants of the sea. Do curtsy to them, do them reverence, as they fly by with woven wings. Um, excuse me, teachers. Um, I know that you're speaking English, but I do not understand a word you're saying. Okay. What's happening? <laughs> it's okay, Sean. That's, that was a good question because that's what we wanted our students to get the idea. Yes. Because uh, the dialogues that we were presenting just now was yes. taken from the two dramas that they are going to learn in this subject, which is English literature. Ah. Uh, that's why we, we were actually struggling to, to act it out. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. And for those of you who is watching, welcome once again and a very good morning. This is Teras at Didate TV KPM. Before we begin, again, uh, obviously we have two wonderful teachers with us. Let's have a look at their profile that we have here. And there we have it, our two wonderful teachers this morning. We have uh, teacher Nohayati as well as teacher Hanin. A very good morning to both of you. Good morning. Very good, good morning. morning. So thank you very much for that sketch that we had earlier. And of course, for those of you who is watching, a very good morning once again. This is Teras at Didit TV KPM together with me, your host, Sean Steven. Again, I want to remind each and every one of you to always follow the SOPs that we have in place to flatten the curve, our battle against COVID-19. As you can see, we're wearing face masks right now. Okay, let me just adjust this real quick. Also, don't forget to always, always wash your hands uh, whenever possible. Use your hand sanitizers that we have over here. And when you're, among, when, you, when you're among other people, please do keep a distance of at least one meter. As you can see, uh, between me and the teachers, there is at least one meter, uh, that we are at least one meter apart. So right now, I'm just going to open my mask since we are in a safe distance. And uh, when you're keeping your mask, be sure to keep it in a safe place. For example, I have like a special uh, casing here just to keep my mask. Or you can keep it uh, inside there or even in your pockets. All right, before we begin, obviously the subject that we'll be ta uh, talking or touching today is English literature, Correct. is that right? Correct. That's right. Okay, and uh, with us today, it's not just the three of us. There's also six um, what we call special guests that are online on Google Meet right now. Let's have a look at who they are. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, very good morning. Okay, so, oh, actually we have four of them. Uh, I'm just going to introduce you. We'll just say, uh, I'll just be saying your name and I would like you to introduce yourself, okay? We're going to start off first with uh, Khan Twinkle. Hi, everyone. I'm Khan Twinkle and I'm from SMK Conway, Ipoh Perak, Malaysia. Thank you very much. And next, we have uh, Alexander. Hi, I'm Alexander, and I'm a Form 5 student from MBSSKL. Thank you very much. Next, we have uh, Nivita. Hi, I'm Nivita Joanne from SMT Convent, Ipoh, Malaysia. Thank you very much. And last but not least, we have Iza Amira. Hi, my name is Nur Iza Amira, and I am from SMK Convent, Ipoh, Perak. 
Thank you very much for joining us on this fine, fine morning. I know it was very hard for me to wake up, but I am here because <laughs> I want to learn. <laughs> and of course, you are online because you want to learn as well. For those of you who watching at home, I'm sure this will be a very interesting subject indeed. But uh, to know more about the subject, or actually um, the different perspective and also views of those who are sitting for SPM, for SPM 2021, there's actually a short video for you to see their views on English literature. Let's have a look. To me, literature has always been a trigger to stimulate critical thinking in order to help me develop my own views and opinions that I can share with other people, as well as provide me with a deeper understanding of the human psyche in general. It allows us to think critically and also to read in between the lines. Because sometimes in reality, things may not be as direct as we can see. So literature is actually something that brings us back and tells us what is the human nature and how does human actually react to certain things. Literature has opened my eyes to how language can be used as an expression of thoughts, a picture of emotions and a projection of society. I've learned to interpret and analyze why people feel or behave a certain way they do, to be able to reach down to an empathetic level and see the world through the eyes of someone else. Because it teaches me about other people's uh, life in the pe a different period of time and their history and stuff and it also teaches me of different cultures in each and every country and it's really interesting to learn and I really have fun learning in this class. And there you have it, the views and also why they actually enjoy learning English literature, which we'll all be actually enjoying today. Mm -hmm. But before that, I would actually like to ask uh, our lovely teachers that we have here today, uh, what exactly are we going to touch on for English literature? Well, Sean, today yes. we are going to go on the aims yes. of why we learn English literature. Okay. As well, after that, we're going to look at the elements yes. of what is in the text that we're going to watch, okay. then we're going to read, and then how we're going to study it. And okay. then after that, we're going to allow our students to analyze it. Great. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? Okay, and not only that, Sean, if you yes. look at the title of our SWOT today, which is Get to Know Literature, instead of Introduction to yep. Literature, mm -hmm. where uh, it sounds uh, perhaps something that can oh. make our students bored with it. Yes, okay, a bit so too, we, we too, choose yeah. to, to, to change it to Get to Know Literature, so it yep. sounds friendly yes. and, and, of course, to attract students' attention to look at our today's episode. That's right, that's right. Hopefully for those of you who's watching at home as well, I mean, I had uh, the impression that English literature is actually difficult, but I think once we get oh. to know exactly what English literature is all about and how we can interpret it as well as analyze the text that we're going to touch on today, hopefully then that will give you a better view and also uh, not to look at it as a difficult subject. But before that, let us take a short break and we will return right here at Teras at Didit TV KPM. Don't go anywhere.
welcome back. You are now watching Teras at Didit TV KPM together with me, your host, Sean Stephen. And for today, the subject is English literature. More to uh, more, uh, more specifically, it is get to know English literature, correct? And we also have readers in the studio. Aside from our students, we also have our amazing teachers, uh, Teacher Nohayati and Teacher Hanin. Hi, Hi again. Sean. Hi, and I think uh, there is a new student who just joined us online. <laughs> uh, obviously, he had a rough morning, but uh, yes, he's with us and he's <laughs> awake and he's ready to learn. We have also uh, Garen Johnson with us. Hi, good morning, Garen. Uh, sorry, yeah, my name is Timothy. Oh, Timothy. But, uh, that is, yeah, that is just online Elias. Ah, uh, okay, sorry, okay, okay. okay. No worries, no worries. Thank you again for joining us. So, uh, let us begin our lesson for today. Over to yeah. you, teachers. Correct. Thank you, thank you, Sean. So, we would like to actually start our today's lesson by showing the students these three pictures. This is the first one, movies, and then the next one, theater, and the next one is concert. So basically, when we look at these three pictures, right, yes. what is actually comes into your mind, Sean? Um, what comes to my mind is yeah. entertainment. Entertainment, right. correct? Yes. Correct. So um. that is what we would like to, uh, the students to have the idea of. That is actually part of English, lit part of literature. Okay. Uh, yes. Part of literature, meaning that uh, this subject it is actually not something new. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is actually part of our life. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to worry about those, uh, what we call it. Um, nonsense uh, thoughts about this particular subject. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Correct. Okay. Because students will be overburdened and yeah. at the same time they forget that songs, lyrics, mm. is poetry. That's right. right. Correct. Yes. Movies, scripts from dramas mm -hmm. and the whole sequence of, se of events actually mm -hmm. comes from stories, either from novels, either from short stories. Yep. So they actually consume literature mm -hmm. every single day of their life. Ah, I never thought about it. Okay, See? yeah. <laughs> okay. See, we think that it's really, really difficult and it's something that is very scary when actually yes. it's every single day. Yes, that's that? right, that's right. All right. Yeah. So let's have a peek into English literature. Okay. So basically, these are the three general things about what is this subject uh, about. Okay, for the yes. first one, let's look at it. It is actually a higher and in-depth study of literary text. So when we talk about subject, of course, we have our own objective and aims in, in this particular subject. Yes. So this will be one of it. And the next one is... Um, of course, if you look at the title of or the name of the subject is English literature. So, of course, the, the, the language that we use is English. The media uh, language that we use is English. And uh, this subject focuses on the three um, genres. Mm. And the three genres are actually prose, poetry, and of course, drama. And in prose, it's actually divided into two, which okay. is short story and novel. So, these are the genres that the students will learn when they study English literature. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure that every one of us have read stories, novels before. Yes. So that is what we call it as prose. Yep. Uh, ah, okay, okay, right. got it, got it. Okay, so let's look at the aims of this subject. Yes. So here we have four aims. Okay, the first one, uh, we want uh, the students to experience the joy of reading literature text. And if you look at the word joy there, so meaning that you will not get bored or... <laughs> Yes, yeah, because right. it will be fun. Yeah. Okay, and the next one um, is actually I going to be on respond to literary texts from different periods and cultures. Yeah. So the thing about English literature that is so enjoyable and fascinating is that it crosses genres, it crosses eras. It first can be started from learning texts from the 16th century yes. all the way to the futuristic of the 2020 that we are now facing nowadays. Ah, okay. And the next one would be uh, appreciate literature and use language effectively. And of course, when we study the text, we will look at the, how the writers, the poets, use the language to uh, present their ideas, their thoughts. So yes. uh, we, we do hope that our students will appreciate it. And then, uh, of course, the last one is to produce critical and creative thinkers, right, Cikgu Hanin? Definitely, because that is the most important thing. Why on earth are we learning literature? It's because we want to produce creative thinkers, but most of all, critical, analytical, and problem solvers. Yes, mm. yes, yes, great. How does it sound so far, Sean? Uh, so far, it sounds good. I mean, like I mentioned, <laughs> I always had the impression that it's, it's a difficult subject, okay, but no. actually, when you put it this way, um, learning English literature can actually be fun. Correct. Right. Right? Correct. Yes. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is uh, this subject focuses on the three genres, which is prose, poetry, and drama. 
So proofs means any piece of writing written in sentences of paragraph, okay. okay, as what you have read so far, stories, novels, and so on. And then poetry means a collection of words that, that express an emotion or idea. And drama, of course, uh, would you like to explain about drama, uh, Hanin? Well, drama is different from prose and poetry because even though it's in text form, it is actually meant to be performed on stage. Ah. Mm. So it's a practical It's a practical, practical version. Okay. Okay. All right, now we're going to go in depth more in understanding the three genres. Okay. So the first one is prose. Now, prose is actually written in paragraphs. Yes. And within those paragraphs, there's going to be characters going to have conversation with each other. So you have dialogues inside it, as well as specifically in English literature, we're focusing on fiction. Okay. All right. And, no, and it's actually divided into novels and short stories, as well as it's actually going to describe characters and events inside it. Okay, good. So now we, we will look at the poetry. So, of course, poetry uh, written in stanzas, okay, that's what makes it different from the prose. Ah, okay. that's right. Stanzas ah. is more like, like paragraphs. Is yeah, it? yeah. Yes. The one yes. that we call so it I remember this from school, yeah, okay, so I, I didn't forget one. everything. Okay, <laughs> so, and not only that, we have rhyme, rhythm, meter, and of course, poetry discard feeling and expressions, okay? Yes. And for drama, we have dialogues, okay, there are scenes, parts, and what we call as acts. Of course, there are characters. Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, again, I would like to uh, repeat here: uh, the drama is something that intended to be acted or performed. Just like what you did at yes. the beginning of the show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you were struggling just yeah. now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now let's move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, as just now, we have introduced you with the, what we call it elements or form of the three genres. Yes. So we would like to show you how it looks like, so the student will have clearer uh, idea on on what are the differences between the three genres. Okay. Okay. So this is what we call as paragraph, written in paragraph for okay. prose. Yes. Okay, but this part, we would like to ask the students, right, Hanin? Yeah. Yes. To test them. To test them on their knowledge. Okay, so first of all, I would like to ask our dear Timothy, based on this <laughs> extract, which short story do you think it comes from? Uh... I'm sorry, I cannot see the screen. Is there a shared oh, really? screen anywhere else here? Yeah. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, can you see Oh, yes, that? yes. Thank you very right. much. Uh, a long time ago. Oh, yes. This is from the short story Birds of Paradise. Fantastic, Tim. Very good. Yeah, because there are actually clues here, right? Uh, <laughs> Gohani, because we could, see the, we could see the chickens here and, and the setting is actually related to the Birds of Paradise. Right. Okay? So now we would like to show you the the next one is poetry. So this is how poetry, poetry looks like, which, which is it's written in stanzas. This this is what we call a stanza just now. Okay. Okay. Stanzas. First stanza, second stanza, third stanza, and the fourth one. Yeah. Okay. We don't want to ask them because it's clearly written there that the title of the poem, which is the passionate shepherd to his love. Okay. How about? Okay, this one. And yeah. this is where drama comes in. And okay. it's very different with how it is written because technically, first of all, it's just going to show the setting yes. where the characters enter the stage. Okay. And then it's going to have the name of the character and yes. just the dialogues. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So it is actually when we see this, oh, we know that it's meant to be performed. It's meant to be executed verbally. I see. Correct. Okay. Honey. Anyone would like to try uh, to guess from which drama that this extract taken from? Any of you? Actually, before oh, that, I just yeah, noticed we actually have a new addition to oh, our to oh, okay. our group of students. We have uh, Vino Jit. Maybe you can just on your mic and just introduce yourself for those of. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I had some internet issues <laughs> just now. Yeah, my name is my name is Vino Jit. People call me Vino, and I'm also from uh, the Great School of MBSSKL, where Timothy is from, and Alex. <laughs> okay, good. Right, Vino. great. Thank so, you for the introduction. Would you like to try out? Yeah. Um, what was the question again? Um, from which, which drama this extract ah, taken from? which drama? Um, if I'm not mistaken, is from uh, uh, sambal and anchovies, is it? If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> drama, darling. Drama. Oh, oh, drama is it? Oh, Merchant of Venice. Merchant of Venice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Venice. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> I, I heard sambal and anchovies. I, I yeah, when I heard that, I, I thought it was yeah. food. Are we talking about nasi lemak or is that something else? <laughs> Fantastic. It is. It's a short story on nasi lemak. Yeah. Oh my. Ah, really? Okay. Okay. I'm intrigued. But please do continue. Okay. So let's uh, introduce our students with the prose. Okay, for prose, we have uh, six short stories, or you can choose one novel out of these two. 
Okay. Okay. So Cik Gohani would like to introduce the students with the six short stories. All right. So the six short stories. Now bear in mind that when you are studying for SPM, you have to learn all six. However, you can choose either you want to do short stories or novel. So okay. you don't need to read everything. Don't ah. burden yourself. Okay. So if you're learning short story, you only do six titles. Yes. They are Sambal Without Anchovies, Embracing Your Shadow, Thieving Daughter, The Winter Hibiscus, Turning 30 and Birds of Paradise. Okay. So if you could notice, the first short story is Sambal Without Anchovies, the one that we know mentioned earlier. Yes. So you, could you imagine you eat nasi lemak with yes. the sambal but without anchovy, what would happen? Oh no, oh no, 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 that's, that's unacceptable. So exactly. it is actually something that attracts students' attention to know more about that particular story. Yes, that's right. That particular short story, of course. Okay, for drama, we have, eh, sorry, for novel, we have two novels and um, we'll be given choices to choose uh, one, okay, either The Clay Marble, written by Min Fong Hu, or The Lost King by Scott Gardner. Okay. Okay, choose only one. Don't, 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 don't do both. Do both. Uh. I okay. mean, you can, but can, it's just going to yeah, be extra correct. time. Okay. Yeah? Exactly. Be because we want to enjoy it, right? That's right. Okay. All right, next one, of course. Now, this is mandatory. What yes. is literature without poem? Yes. Mm, right. Correct. So, poetry, we have ten titles. So, the first one is The Passionate Shepherd to His Love. Okay. So, there's romance in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Daffodils. Yes. To Autumn. Addressed to a child during a boisterous winter evening. Yes. The Tiger. Okay. London. Half Term. The Little Black Boy. Mm -hmm. If and Minus. All right. Right. Okay, um, can we ask the student which one of the, the poems that they are actually interested with? Yes, yes. Out of uh, these ten? I think uh, we have, uh, maybe we can ask anyone who anyone would like to answer that question. Maybe we can start with uh, Isa Amira. Hi. Among all these poems, do you have a favourite yeah. so far? Yes, I do. Which one uh, is it? My favourite poem is If by Rudyard Kipling. Uh -huh. um, this is because it teaches us how to cope with ourselves in the real world. Ooh. Good, good. Is our wow. thanks, thanks. Okay, some real world application right. there. Thank you very much. So okay. let's move on to the next one. All right. Now, of course, another genre that is mandatory for them to learn is drama. Yes. However, there are three choices. Just choose one. Ah, okay. okay. So the titles are the first one is Flowers of Algernon. Okay. Adapted by Bert Cools. And then the second one is Hope Springs by Richard Conlon. And the third one is The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. Ooh, okay. What would be the popular choice among students? Um, of course, the, f the f dramatic father of literature, William Shakespeare himself. Ah, yes. To be or not to be? be. <laughs> that is That's the, the only part from William Shakespeare I remember. <laughs> okay. And if you yep. look at these three uh, different dramas, right, it is actually represent three different themes, three yep. different characters, of course, mm -hmm. because it's written by different uh, writers. Yes, that's right. Right? So it's... It's good to, to actually right. study about it. Okay, so here in literature, it's not just about reading the text, but yep. before you read the text, we need to have a further understanding of the writer themselves. Yes. Right, because writers, they get inspired mm -hmm. by experience of life. Yeah. Right. So before that, students have to do a little bit of history. Okay. 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 So actually, when you're entering English literature, you have to have... Um, a grasp of history and geography. Ooh, right. okay, okay, okay. Yep. Right. So, for example, uh, these are some of the poets and the writers that we will be learning about. So, the father, the great father of poetry, one of the great fathers of the poetry, there's many of them. So, it's Rudyard Kipling. All right, and then yes. we have U.A. Fanthorpe, you have uh, Min Fong Ho, and also you have William Shakespeare. Great, right? yes. Correct, they actually represent different cultures, mm -hmm. different times, and of course, different way in interpreting, interpreting the, the, yeah, the, the, the message. The text, yes. Yeah, the text, okay? Okay, so now let's move on to the next element, which is literary elements and language use. So we have six um, here, which is plot, settings, characters, literary poetic devices, yes. or we we can call it as tools that they use. Mm -hmm. And then we have themes and values. And the last one will be point of view. OK. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the plot. All right, all right. yes. So the plot is actually the sequence of events yes. on what to know what happens next. And also, this is actually to show um, 
the beginning of it and also for example it starts from the beginning and then it moves to rising action you have the conflict and then the climax you go down into falling action and then it ends Ah, okay, okay. I'm sure that everyone is actually familiar with this chart plot, right? Whenever that we yes. study, am I right? Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Maybe <laughs> we can get also an example that one of our students uh, could actually provide us. Would anyone of you like to try um, giving an example of a uh, of a plot in any of the dramas or short poetry stories, or short yeah. stories? That you, I think it's usually in short stories or Correct. dramas, right? Yep. Maybe any one of you could give an example. Any, any volunteers before I choose a name? <laughs> I feel like a teacher now. Okay, uh, I think uh, Quan, uh, Khan Twinkle is actually smiling really, really <laughs> widely. Would you like to try Khan Twinkle? Uh, teacher, do you mean that the climax we need to talk about now? Or probably uh, you can yeah. choose which is your favorite event. Yes, correct. Uh, okay. Um, I think my favorite event is in Tiving Daughter when the mother takes her daughter's black dress to wear it on and try it on. And later, the doctor cut it off. <gasps> yeah. That's the part I like the most. Really? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so that, that would be, would that be the climax? It's or correct. would that be the, that's the climax? Yep. Of the story, yeah. yeah. Okay, and all right, title, thank you so much. And yes. the title of the story is Thieving Daughter. Oh. Uh, Thieving Daughter. Okay, okay, okay. I'm very, very intrigued right now. Thank so, you so much, Khan Twinkle, for your answer. Welcome. Okay, please do continue. All right. Okay, the next element is settings. Okay. So there are three types of setting, which is place, uh, time, and culture. Mm -hmm. And please, um, why why is it important for us to, to know about the settings of, of the text? It's yes. because it gives us the idea when the story is written, uh, uh, the what we call it, the, the environment, perhaps, yes, about, exactly. about the story. And, yes. and of course, about the society that the writer trying to convey in the text. Yeah. So that's why it's important for us to get to know the settings of each text. Because yeah, it is right. very important also mm -hmm. for students to understand that literature is the science of learning society. Yes, right. So yes. when you're trying to understand learning society, mm -hmm. you have to look at these three factors. Yes. So of course, place, yes. time, and society itself, the culture of yes. the society. That's true. All right. Okay, so before we move on to our next slide where we will be talking about characters, yeah. how about we take a short break and we will be back at Teras at Didate TV KPM. Stay tuned! Welcome back. You are now watching Teras at Didate TV KPM for the topic of get to know English literature. Together with me, we also have uh, teacher or Miss uh, Nohayati as well as teacher Hanin. Hi again. Hi again. Hi. All right. So we're just about to talk. Uh, we're just about to talk about. Wait, that's wrong. <laughs> we're just about to talk about characters, right? Yes. Right. Yes. yes. All, right. All right. Please do continue. Okay. So the next element will be the characters. Also. Um, so there are two uh, two types of characters, yes. which is uh, main characters and minor characters. And for the main characters, we have protagonists and antagonists, are uh, as known uh, as uh, we know as villain. Yes. Or for the protagonist, we know as hero. Yes, okay. that's right. And then for the minor characters, which is uh, please um, important role also, we mm -hmm. call them as supporting characters. That's true. Okay. Yes. Okay, and the next one, this is important because we're not just looking at the characters, we're not just looking at the text, we need to look at the language itself because yes. this is English. Mm -hmm. So, we have 
poetry, what kind of literary elements and language use that we use. We use metaphors, simile, personification, imagery. And in prose, we have diction, flashback, foreshadow, and cliffhanger. And of course, for drama, we have monologue, soliloquy, dramatic irony, comedy, and symbolism. Okay, I also see there is some faces just below the, uh, oh. the table. What's that for? Okay, this is actually to represent emotions. Ah, uh, so you yes. have sadness, you have love, you yes. have shock, you have happiness. Yes. Okay, and so on and so forth. Ah, Correct. okay, great. And of course, that's the reason why the writers and poets use the, the devices or the tools to actually affect our emotions yes, and true. feelings. Yes, that's right, that's right. Okay. So the next one will be the themes and values. Okay, uh, the themes are uh, we can say that it is a central idea of the whole story. Yes. What is the writer is trying to convey? But basically, different people may have different um, thoughts, may have different mm. themes that they find play significant role in the in that particular story. Yes. Okay, but but it's okay. That is how we learn. That is how we develop our our thinking skills. Yes. Okay. Um, and the value, uh, values here, uh, what we can learn from the text are uh, compassion, bravery, patience, sincerity, responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. 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 Right. okay. 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 This is the point of view. Yes. So basically, it is about uh, how the persona or who is actually telling us the story. Yes, it yes. comes from the one who experienced it or the one who witnessed it. Yeah. Yes. So that is what makes different from the, the, first, the first person. and, and the, yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Eh, sorry. All right, so now this is where the fun part. So we Ooh. learn about the elements already. Yes. We learn about plot, Correct. setting, yes. characters, language and literary use. Yes. Okay, now, so we're going to look at a literature, a short story excerpt okay. from Chua Ko Yi, who he, whom wrote Thieving Daughter. Ah, uh, that's the one where ah, Kan yeah, Trinko was talking yeah, about, right? Okay, yes. yay! All right, so now let's look at this. So here it says, okay, let's begin the story. Morning, Mum. My daughter Aisha walks into the kitchen. She is 22 years old and has just started working in a bank after graduating from college. She has on a navy blue blouse with a pair of black pants. Her face is radiant and fresh. She uses minimal makeup and wears her black hair cascading down her waist. She looks gorgeous. Her beauty, youth and vitality are familiar. She has got them from me. It is odd though, because I don't remember giving them away. We sit at the kitchen table with plates of fried mihun and glasses of orange juice in front of us. Her face is buried in the pages of the newspaper, an annoying habit she has picked from her father. I twirl the mihun with my fork and bring it to my mouth. The mihun is dry but soft and tangy with just a hint of shrimp. It is good and should be the focus of her attention, not the newspaper. Mm. Uh. Okay, <clears throat> I am now very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> because yes. of the mihun. Yes. Okay, so let's look at how... We, we are only focusing on the characters. We are going to analyse the characters okay. Okay, for, for this particular, uh, what we call it, episode. Right, so, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, give it a try, students. Okay. Um, uh, anyone would like to tell us what are the what are the who are the characters that you could notice from this extract? Mm -hmm. um, Aisha and her mother. Oh, okay, good. Thank okay, you. Okay, so you have mom, and you have Aisha. Okay, good. very good. Okay, um, and the next one. So these questions may help you on how to analyze. Okay, so the next question will be. Um, what do you know, okay, or what is the extract telling you about these two characters? Is there any clues about how the characters are? Can uh, like I answer that? Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yes. of course. Tim. Timothy. Oh, okay. Um, the excerpt shows that Aisha is an up-and-coming young woman, I believe, mm -hmm. because it, it says that she has just graduated from college and is now working in a bank. Okay. So I would assume she's very... Uh, successful at this point in her life. Right. Um, it also tells us that she is uh, quite beautiful and takes after a mother who was once very beautiful like her with the Correct. words vitality and youth such as and that. Part. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay good. Um, I'm not so sure about the relationship between her and her mother because 
it seems like she's in a bit of passive aggressiveness when she just ignores her mother and goes to reading the newspaper. I would assume one would try to make conversation during the, at the dinner table or at least uh, uh, try to compliment her food. Uh, correct, Tim. If, uh, as you could actually notice, it's from here, right? This part face is buried in the pages of the newspaper instead of looking at the mother, right? Mm -hmm. So you find that... Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. And how about uh, anyone else who uh, would like to try? How about the mother's uh, characteristics here? Is there any evidence that uh, you well, can use? Yeah, I, I I like to try try and you know just okay, guess. Good. Yeah. We know which So one. from 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 the text, I noticed that the mother is very caring, as all mothers should be. You know, they tend to care for their child. Mm -hmm. And in the text here, she says that uh, you know she's worried about Aisha because she's not uh, really focusing towards her. She's when when the mother asking questions towards Aisha, Aisha doesn't really want to answer. So she's concerned about Aisha. Okay. That, that's how I feel. Okay, we know. Yeah. Uh, we would like to get the evidence from the extract. Which one that you are actually referring to? Because we are focusing on this extract, right? We know. So when you said that, so is there anything uh, yeah, that yes, we sure. can from, from 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 the from where? Which evidence? What, what, what is the evidence? Because why, Sean? Yes. It's very important for us to support our what we call it. Our, our ideas, our, answers, our, answers, our yeah. response our with the evidence. Ah, okay. Uh, so we have so to justify what yes, our yes. interpretations, right? Justification yeah, justification is yeah. very important. Maybe I could add on as oh, well, uh, ah, because good. I notice. Or anyone else would like to add on or help Vino out? Or Vino, would you like to try before I add on? Um, um, the part where it says it's talking about the mihum. That's my evidence, chair. Ah. Oh, here. Yeah. Her face is yeah. buried in the pages of the newspaper. All okay. Right. Yeah. And then I she's expressing Aisha herself. So yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. This part, right? The, the last yeah. paragraph tells yeah, us yeah. about read how the mother reacts to to her daughter. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. So now we have basic ideas on these two uh, characters, which yes. is Aisha and uh, the mother. Okay. Could I actually ask a question okay. here? Yes, so sure. I've I've seen this text, parag uh, text paragraph number two. Mm -hmm. um, she was talking about her beauty, her vitality, Correct. and then she, she, uh, she the mother adds on. She has got them from me. Mm -hmm. It's odd though because I don't remember giving them away. So do I sense yes. a, a, some kind of jealousy or good, or, good. or something like that from the mother to towards the daughter? Is that true? Good, good, good. Because that is how you understand it, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah. So and and you could actually use that point and support it. Uh, with with the the evidence that you would like to highlight just now. Yes, yeah. but wouldn't that be contradicting to what one of our students mentioned that uh, the mother is caring, but at the same time she's also feeling jealousy towards the 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 uh, the, the child itself. Could, but that is actually the point of literature because human beings are complex. Mm. And the thing about English literature here is that we're trying to teach students not to see things in black and white. Correct. I see. And, and to respect yeah. each other's opinions and yes. Yeah. That is how we develop it. So okay. there are certain scenes where students will feel as if that they don't agree mm. with the action of the characters. Mm -hmm. But Correct. do we judge the person as bad straight ah, away? Ah. Okay, okay. All right, that's yeah. an interesting point itself. So before we move on further, how about we take a short break and we will return right here at Teras at Didit TV KPM. Stay tuned. Okay. KPM. 
And the answer to the tri trivia that we saw just before the break is Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Actually, Sherlock Holmes is a very uh, interesting... Uh, I've only seen the movies, so I haven't had the time to read it. But yeah, it is. So uh, do continue with our topic for today. Okay, so we are actually going to go to the very end. So we've already done the analysis with the text. Yes. So this is important because this is actually the crux of your SPM on how you're going to answer. Okay, so when you're analyzing, please bear in mind, students, that first of all, you have to examine the text in detail. And second of all, we have to look at all the three elements in your answer. I, the first one is identify some of the literary elements used and see how character, setting, plot and theme affect one another. And last one, the most importantly, this is where your marks comes in, is to give evidence from literary works to support your thesis statement. Yeah, correct, Cikgu Hanin. So that is why we come up with this one. In literature, we read, we understand it, analyze and respond. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's ah, all. All right. Okay. So, okay, I'm sure that uh, the students now are wondering about how the format looks like, yes. obviously, right? Yes. Because at the end of this course, they are actually sitting for, for this exam. Okay, so uh, English literature and the code for this paper is 2206, okay, and the exam duration will be 2 hours and 30 minutes. And within the 2 hours and 30 minutes, you have to answer three sections. And section A for prose, section B for drama, and section C for poetry. Prose carries 35 marks, same goes to drama, carries 35 marks and poetry carries 30 marks, okay? And if you look at the note here, each question has two parts, which is A and B. So answer both parts within the two hours and 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. okay, all right. Okay. So also... Uh, sure. Yes. Yes, we know. Uh, sorry, Chair. Can I can I ask a question, Chair? Um, oh, sure. How are the marks divided for uh, part A and part e, B, okay. Chair? Good, good yeah. questions, Vino. Yeah. Okay, so for pros, right, if you could see there are 35 marks, so it's actually 20 marks for uh, part A mm -hmm. and the other 15 marks for part B. Same goes to the drama. And for poetry, 15 marks for part A and another 15 marks for part B. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah. Okay. 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 Okay, thank you, Thanks, Chair. Vino. All right, you're welcome. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, now, just because we're doing literature and of course we're focusing on SPM, exam yes. isn't the by all mean all, everything yeah. you're going to end in exam. So again, in literature, we are looking at the creative works of students. So these are some of the creative works that students will do in classes. So the first one is they have to create their own portfolio. They have to do poetry recitation, drama performance, role play multimedia presentation and of course nowadays because of the internet oh yes era we do a lot of social media a lot of blogs TikTok, yes. using english literature yes okay and these are actually some of the examples of students that they've Correct. given yeah we are going to look at what right. uh, so oh, this wow. is actually yeah. some of the notes that students write on mahjong paper now we see this every single time in class Students, this is creative work. Correct. Ah. So you don't need to think of something very, very big. Yeah. So this is actually some of them. Yeah, the one okay. that we are familiar with, right? Yep. And so the next one is, of course, drama workshop. So this is an example from SMK Asunta. Oh, okay. Right? So and this is uh, the not theatre, what's the word? Drama. Uh, drama. drama, yes. Drama. Okay. Correct. And another one is another picture of SMK main convent Ipoh. Ooh. So this is where they did Macbeth. Oh, Macbeth, right. okay. Yeah. Okay, so. so these are the examples. Right. Okay, so this is the, uh, I'm sure that the, what we call it, the best part where students are wondering how does this subject help them in future mm -hmm. yeah. or, or even now, okay? Mm -hmm. So how would literature help me? So basically when we talk about literature, um, it is, and if you look at the, the, what we call it, the elements, the short story we have actually presented earlier, so it is actually um, enhances students, um, what we call it, critical thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, when we talk about critical thinking and human, human nature, yeah. it is actually relevant to any professions. Yes. Okay, so yes. you don't have to worry about how, how this subject will help you in the future. And I'm sure that... Um, students have their own ideas on because they have experience and now they are doing literature yeah. so i'm sure that they notice on how they can apply the lessons that they learn in this subject yes. in their daily life 
Ah. Okay, not only for the future, yes. but in their daily life. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like you mentioned, I mean, earlier, so we had some uh, really had to do some analysis, Correct, yes. and that involves critical thinking, not only yes. from one view but also uh, many views, which can be applied in our daily life as well. Even when understanding someone else's behavior, someone else's uh, emotions, even in like a relationship, you get to see it, or you try to put yourself in their shoes. Correct. So, and, that, and that's how literature can also yeah, help that, us that's as well. Where yeah. the empathy comes in. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so I could probably also add on to that. I think that uh, this could also help stimulate or, or you know, ignite ignite that fire, a passion for literature mm -hmm. when it comes to yeah. writing. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, an author, a very famous author, who wrote um, Harry Potter, yeah. yes, Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> so actually, the movie comes from an author, uh, from a book, right? Correct. And that book, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, J.K. Rowling, yes, that's right. who is now the only. A billionaire author, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 So yeah. this is Absolutely all the stuff, type of things that we can enjoy uh, from literature itself. Oh, okay, yes. sorry. Do continue your class. Oh. <laughs> okay, we, we would actually like to uh, ask the students how they oh. find it, actually. Yes. Oh? Okay, yes. Okay, sure. can we? Okay, uh, I think uh, someone has been quiet throughout the class, probably a bit <laughs> sleepy. Alexander, hi. Hi. Okay, all right. So, Alexander, could you maybe uh, answer uh, the teachers that we have here? What's the question again? Uh, how will literature help you actually, uh, Alex? Yes. Literature helps in many ways. And as the teacher and the host have said, it helps to build empathy and it gives us an opportunity to look at, look at life through different points of views and put ourselves in other people's shoes. This helps in like social situations. So, you help to helps you to understand people more. And when you talk to people, you get to know people more. It also helps in jobs like counselling jobs, where you can read under the lines, behind the lines of what people tell you, and understand the lives of them even more. That's my opinion on how literature helps. Great, that's a really great answer, yeah, Alex. Good. Uh, Alexander. Good, thank you thank so you. much. Okay, anyone else would like to add? Or? Yes, yes, we still have time. Uh, anyone else would like yeah. to add um, into how uh, literature, literature can help you or anyone else around you? Um, basically, uh, personally, Literature has helped me a lot. Last time, I used to be very short temper, and after learning literature, I handle situations in a wiser way. And also, I feel like literature helps all the jobs because all the jobs have stress and pressure right. tensions, right? So it helps people to handle the situation more wiser. Yeah. That is very true indeed. Yeah, Thank exactly. you so much, uh, Nivita, for that. Thank you. Right. Correct, Sean. I do agree with them. As, as usually, we find that people tend to look at literature as something related to writing, related yes. to if you would like to, to involve with the broadcast, then only you, can, you have to take this one. But, but mm -hmm. it's actually not. Yeah. It's actually beyond, beyond that. Yes, that's right, uh, that's right. It's actually, a lifelong skill. That's yeah. the most important thing. A lifelong? Skill. Lifelong skill, Correct. that's right. Yeah. I actually now regret not taking English <laughs> literature for my SPM. Ah, man. <laughs> anyway, please do continue, yes. Okay. All right. So we would like to actually... So actually, we're going to end our classes. We're already at the end of it. Oh, no. <laughs> so most of all, we're going to take a, a quote yes. from a very famous author, C.S. Lewis. Yes, Sean, do you know? Uh, yes, I know Lewis? of him. Yes. Yes. But I cannot quote any of his work. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't put me on the All spot. Right, no problem, Sean. <laughs> he is actually the author of the Chronicles of Narnia. I was just about to say that. <laughs> but yes, yes, yes. So for C.S. Lewis, to him, literature is adds to reality. It does not simply describe it. It enriches the necessary competency that daily life requires and provides. And in this respect, it irrigates the deserts that our life have already become. Wow. Right. So it's just like what we were actually um, discussed earlier. Yeah. Yes. It's the same. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, okay, anything else we'd like to add on? Uh, this is the last slide uh, that the we last would like slide. to show for today. But however, okay. yep. we hope, we really, really hope that students out there are no longer afraid of English literature. Yes. And they are actually very enthusiastic to take the subject for their SPM. That's Correct. right, that's right. And any, any last words before we end for today? Um, uh, and I'm sure that uh, if you, uh, what we call it, um, it is not a waste if you take this subject, mm -hmm. okay? Because even me as a teacher learns, learn so many things, okay, throughout um, uh, the lesson, throughout yes. the lesson with my beloved students. Yes. Yeah, even me learn so many things, right. okay? 
Thank you so much for that. And of course, uh, as, as you mentioned to our students that is uh, that are online right now, thank you so much to uh, Timothy, uh, Nivita. Uh, we also have Khan Twinkle. Uh, we know Alexander, Alexander the Great, haha, <laughs> Alexander, as well as um, Isa Amira uh, for joining us today on this fine, fine morning. And of course, uh, to get to know English literature uh, more in detail. And for those of you watching at home, thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, you can continue or you can watch Terras every day from Monday to Sunday, uh, nine, sorry, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And again, I'd like to thank uh, teacher Nohayati as well as teacher thank Hanin you, for joining thank us today you. on thank this wonderful morning. Morning. Yeah, and of course, you. again, don't forget to tune in to Terras every day from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And for those of you who's watching at home and also for those of you who are online, always remember to follow the SOP in our battle against COVID-19. Wash your hands often, use your hand sanitizers, wear your mask when you are out from home. And so please do keep a distance for at least, or at least one meter uh, among each other. Thank you so much and uh, we will see you in our next Terras at Didet TV KPM. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>